basically what we're doing, and we never wrote this because we're just lazy, mathematicians are lazy, and I don't want to overcomplicate it to start, but technically when I take a derivative, I'm doing d dx, meaning the derivative with respect to x, then d dx plus serves as a separator, and d dx. So that means the d dx means the derivative with respect to x. This is super important. And it's going to be even more important next chapter. Now, here, are y and x the same variable? No. 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 And technically what it is, is what would we expect the derivative, like x to be as 1? What would we expect the derivative y to be also? 1. But the problem is when they're different variables, you actually have to do this chain rule. So what you have to do is you have to do the derivative of y is 1, but then times, and this is kind of like a box, d that box, we're going to put a y there, dx. And so how did we write, what was another name for derivative, like f prime, y prime, but also remember dy dx was a different name for how to write the derivative. That's where that came from. Then here, what's the derivative of three x to the fifth? 15 x to the fourth, but technically it's actually times, and then I have to do dx, dx, meaning it's the derivative. What variable did I choose? I chose an x variable with respect to x. Well, what's anything over itself? One. So this would have been like a total waste of time to have to write every time. And this is technically just zero because there's no variable. Right? There's no x. I'm looking for the derivative with respect to a variable. There's no x, which is zero. Right? But we just jump straight down to 15x to the fourth. But that's kind of important to just think about is that we've actually always been doing chain rule. We just haven't quite learned it. And so when I have this d dx, the x needs to match the variable. So that's why it's like f prime of x or f prime of theta. Because if I have a different variable, this is the derivative with respect to x for y. What is it really? It's 1 times, put that variable up on top, dy dx. And so we'll see more of that concept next chapter, but I just wanted to kind of preview it and see that.